I want to take a little bit of time out to say thank you for my wonderful patrons. What you see right here on the screen. If you go to Crimson60620 at Patreon.com, you can actually help support the show and get your name shown up on the screen. Thank you. Did we do three videos already? One sec. We did three videos already. Oh my God. I am. You guys are just giving me energy. You are giving me energy. <laughs> Thank you, mutant. Thank you again. Thank you. Um, let's um, let's get to the next video, and this is actually gonna be um, this is gonna be a quick one. This is gonna be a quick one. Kind of a crimson bite. Why did that sound like some sort of like sex act? I don't. Know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So um, I know I'm late. I know I'm late for this one, and I know the trial will be over soon, but I just want to comment on this shit right here. This shit right here, when you think about it, this, at the time, 17-year-old kid who had shit all up and through his timeline talking about Blue Lives Matter, had shit... I, was it was a failed wannabe fucking police academy thing and all that other good bullshit that lived in another motherfucking state with a 38 year old busted ass looking mama went to another state to play pretend soldier and ended up taking the lives of two people and injuring a third now, whatever you say about the law, was it self-defense? Was it motherfucking murder? I seem to remember in a lot of places, there's this charge called felony murder. Where if you take the life of somebody or somebody dies in the commission of you having a, of doing a motherfucking crime, then your ass was guilty of felony murder. Now, maybe, 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 you know, that was only for like, you know, things like that or Rico cases are only for people with the certain type of skin affliction. But I seem to remember that it is illegal for a 17 year old to have the assault type weapon that he had. But let's see him weep and cry on stage. Excuse me, on the stand. Because um his what will feelings will spurt. Let's go. Once I take that step back, I look over my shoulder and Mr. Rosenbaum Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side. Um and I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski. And there were <laughs> there were people right there. Like, man, dude, he's tearing up. Oh, he, he appears to be tearing up. I, I mean, like, and I know the comparison is made before, but I'm still in it. His eyes are as wet as Ben Shapiro's wife. Try <laughs> okay, but for everybody that's saying he's self defense, not other good shit, he was with a group of people that also had assault rifles. Why was he separated? Was this a case of a whole group of people decide to, I don't know, gang up on this one kid? Or did he go out there looking to play to play soldier? Did he go look to fucking play soldier? Because if he was with everybody else, this shit wouldn't happen. But he's this 17-year-old stupid-ass kid 
the thing to police us all. Bees knees. They somehow got separated from the rest of the group. Oh. But let's go. What <laughs> 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 That's where I run. <laughs> We're gonna just take it. Time for our break anyway. You, you can uh, just relax for a minute, sir. Um, we're gonna take a break, uh, about uh, 10 minutes, and please don't talk about the case during the break. What, read, watch, or listen to any content. Okay, so. Look, Cal is being protected by his daddy. Excuse me, the, du the judge. This shit is so fucking unbelievable. Now, here's the problem. This motherfucker may get off. And I know, oh, that's the law and all that other good bullshit. The fact of the matter is, there is such thing, like, literally, this case has been bungled by not only the prosecutor, but it has also been bungled by the judge. The judge is not impartial with this bullshit. How do you have it where the judge stops your motherfucking client before your the defense attorney does. This shit is fucking stupid. And there's no way. And the fact that double jeopardy is attached to this shit. The fact that double jeopardy is attached to this shit pisses me off. Let's see something. I, I just want to look at something. Hold on, guys. All right, so here, let's do this. Whosoever causes the death of another human being by committing or attempting to commit a crime is the statute code may be in prison for no more than 15 years in excess of maximum terms of imprisonment. So they have a felony murder law. They have it. They literally have a felony murder law. I don't get it. Say if you will, it's a, like, dude, like, there have been countless people of color who have actually been. They were they were robbing a they were robbing a store. They crashed. Somebody died in the crash. They were commit. They were convicted of felony murder. This is a fucking open and shut case. But they don't want to do that because fucking right wingers will fucking piss themselves that they have to have any accountability for anything that they fucking do. And I know you're going to say, well, it's the law. Laws don't give morality. Morality gives us laws. It is no reason, no way that we should justify the protection of property over a whole group of people's civil rights. Mind you, this wasn't a George Floyd protest. There was a protest over somebody who was shot stopping to break up a fight. Yes. And the judge allowed, this motherfucking judge allowed, allowed the people who were protesters to be, to be determined to be rioters and shooters. But they didn't allow animals are innocent. Don't be species. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, um Atheist Dax. Uh, Atheist Dad for it. Thank you. But they allow for 
the 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 calling of the people who were shot. This judge said, "No, they they rioters and looters." They allowed the characterization of the victims to be to, to be put on trial, but they didn't. The judge didn't allow. And even when it was brought up in questioning and cross-examination of how Cal Rittenhouse was doing white supremacist shit, hanging out with a white supremacist organization. They didn't allow that because that would prejudice the jury. I don't know what else to say. This is going to be justification for a lot of motherfuckers. Actually trying to be Roman vigilantes. And we haven't talked about the Auburn, uh, the Auburn Ashbury uh, trial, where it's even worse. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just can't, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. And by extension, yeah, thank you, Mutant. Thank, thank you for helping me out with my channel. That's, like, are you, um, but yeah, no, like, I, I just can't understand it. And this is why a lot of people don't have faith in the justice system. This is why. I, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is I want to say thank you for watching this clip. If you will be so kind to hit that like button, subscribe, follow, um, depending on what platform you are. If you're on YouTube, hit that notification bell. That lets you know when I go live. And finally, we're gonna end this clip segment here. All right, all right.